Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for the 10th. So right around the 10th. My chair needs to be oiled. I don't know why, but I feel like that should go right there. So what do we have for around the 10th? What do we have for around the 10th? You know, the timing is fluid. This reading is not assigned specific, so parts of it may resonate with you and parts of it may not. Um, it could resonate today or tomorrow, okay? Or the next day or next week or whatever. But what kind of message do I have to de deliver for around the 10th? Six of Wands, Seven of Cups, Sun Reversed, and the Five of Pentacles. So, we have a victim mentality here. I see this as victim mentality. These people are out in the cold, but they don't need to be. They're choosing to be. So we have a couple. This is a couple that are out in the cold. You know, they're choosing to be. They're choosing to be by themselves. They're choosing to... Uh, not ask for any help or not communicate. They're choosing. They're choosing to go their own way. It looks like we have some, we have one person that is leading an unhealthy individual um, away from their spirituality or away from the help, away from other people. This person, this, I have some why I'm focusing on this card. There's got to be a reason for that. We have an individual here that is leading somebody that has been wounded, somebody that is unhealthy in a in the wrong direction. They are leading this person in the wrong direction. It's like there's a, there's an opportunity to to come inside. There's an opportunity to um, be taken care of and uh, get some extra help. But this person is leading them in the wrong direction. So we have an individual that is a victim to another person's uh, hate or negativity or whatever. This person looks angry, looks hateful to me. This person is, is naive. So we have a naive individual that is trusting this bitter individual. And this bitter individual is leading them away from the family or the congregation or their spirituality spirituality uh, this angry individual is leading this wounded victim away from help away from uh something good put it that way six of wands so this is an individual that has fought has already fought a huge battle and they have come out on top they've won this person if the battle is over they've already fought you know they've come a long way they've they've been through the war zone they made it they survived now they have multiple options but there's an element of confusion and a need to be careful because they may be led in the wrong direction. Somebody is being led in the wrong direction by an individual who is bitter. Okay, this person, if you look, that person is bitter, nasty. Okay. Now, this is unhappiness, sad, poor logic. We got somebody here that isn't being logical. They're unhealthy, which I can see that they're very unhealthy. So we have an unhealthy individual that has already been through a significant battle. Okay, they've been through a significant battle. They have multiple options, but they're choosing to be led in the wrong direction. They're choosing to be led in the wrong direction by an individual that is hateful. This person is hateful. This person is not very spiritual. Hmm. 
this is like an outcast. This is person, a couple or a person. I feel like it's this person. This person is a social outcast. Probably doesn't have any friends. Nobody really likes this person. But they found some an individual that is a victim. You know, this person has low self esteem, low self confidence. Has been through a serious battle. You know, and and maybe is very lonely and is is was looking for somebody to take care of them. And so this individual found a weak person to uh, lead, you know, when this person obviously needed uh, that kind of uh, role, you know, a leadership role. The only way that they could get the, to feel in control, ego, pride, that kind of thing. So we have a relationship or a broken marriage, or an unhappy, unhealthy situation that is not growing, okay? There's a lack of growth. Somebody's health is very, very poor. It is. They're sick. They're ill. I can see that they are. But they're allowing themselves to be led, okay? They have other options, but they're confused. They are confused because they've already been through such a tough battle. They just don't. They want to be taken care of now. You know, they want to be taken care of, but I think they've engaged themselves with an individual that is leading them, you know, in the wrong direction, for sure. Mm, four of Pentacles reversed. This is letting go, opening up. There's a lack of money here, too. There's financial problems here. We got financial struggles here. Now the man is covered in this one. Interesting. So this individual is struggling financially. Although, maybe it's this one that is struggling financially. There is a financial struggle here. Hmm. This one I'm not, it, it, is the leader. This is the follower. Hmm. This is its time to relax. Ooh, the emperor reversed. So the this is this is uh, out of control. Or very controlling. It could go could go both ways. The emperor reversed is an individual. It's an individual. It's a person. Okay. That doesn't want to take responsibility. That isn't interested in helping anybody. That is power hungry. So we have a power hungry. Which I can see that we have a power hungry individual. That's what I was trying to get at a minute ago. We have a power hungry individual here that wants to be in control, wants to be the boss, wants that power, wants that title. This is somebody that is on the wrong side of the law. Very corrupt. This is like a corrupt leader or a father or a, somebody that is... Uh, in a position of power. Okay, this is somebody that is in a position of power. This is letting go of an unhealthy situation. So we have an individual that is letting go of a sad, unhealthy situation. They have been led in the wrong direction by a bitter individual. They're letting it go. They're ready to relax, okay? They have options. What's going on here? Oh, nine of pentacles. The nine, this, is go, this is somebody who is very self-sufficient, very strong. Nine of pentacles is a person that is very good, independent, can take care of themselves, has a lot of skills. Very valuable. Has a lot to offer. Single, grateful, enjoying the finer things in life. So we have a we have one individual here that is enjoying the finer things in life. 
very abundant. There's choices. There's choices. And there's a need to be careful. We have an individual who fought a hard battle. And they had an option. And they made a poor decision, obviously. Oh, God. But there's still an option to be independent. To take care of yourself. Hmm. Queen of Swords reversed. So there's definitely a bitter individual here. This is a bitter, 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 nasty individual. Could be a mother, a stepmother. This could be a stepmother. Okay, this could be the wicked stepmother. This is uh, the ex, the ex-wife or uh, the ex-girlfriend or um, just a bitch. Okay. Somebody uh, moved towards a very bitter individual. They had other options, but perhaps money <laughs> led them in that direction because they thought this person, you know, the money was so alluring. This was somebody that had money. The Nine of Pentacles is kind of like the Empress and the Minor Arcana. Some, this person is very well off, definitely well off. So it looks like we have this one person that had it, maybe had married for money or uh, made a choice based on money, based on, you know, assets, not knowing because they were confused. It was an illusion, right? It was that, you know, this person was kind. This person is not kind. Okay, the Queen of Swords in reverse is any sign. Don't get your butt hurt because if you're the Queen of Swords, all right, this is an energy. This is an individual that is nasty. Okay, she's nasty. She lies. She doesn't let you talk. Wants her very selfish, very, very selfish, very hard to deal with, hard to love, lonely, calculating, hasty, brash. Somebody chose a bitter woman that had money be careful with that just saying anyhow okay so this is a this is this this guy or this can be a feminine as well in this case this is an this is a person it is a person that is corrupt deserts you in the time of need is very mean-spirited, lacks life experience, and is extremely controlling, power-hungry. So we have a power-hungry individual that led somebody in the wrong direction. Now there could be a loss of money or a loss of stability or something like that. Ooh, clarity. That's a knife that cuts. The truth. Something. Somebody's going to be sharing some information. Sharing some information. Okay. Somebody's going to be sharing some information about whoever they are dealing with. Hmm. This could have something to do with an inheritance or money. I don't know what it is, but there's this is information, some sort of truth, some sort of clarity coming. Sharing information about this corrupt individual that is uh, now the five of pentacles that's kind of like abandonment of some sort insecurity very insecure hmm. Ooh, the world card now this is an ending it's a major ending completion Something has come full circle. There, you know, this is completing a journey, learning a lesson, a change of residence. Something is coming to an end. 
Somebody is moving towards the future, leaving this. They're ghosting too. They're ghosting this person. Somebody is, this is an ending, okay? Somebody's journey is complete. They have learned a lesson. They have received some sort of clarity, some sort of information, or some sort of, they're taking a new approach. They're stepping into their future. They are abandoning this controlling SOB that led them in the wrong direction. This is a major ending. I'm going my own way. Taking the power taking their power back. Somebody is taking their power back. They're taking a new approach. They're completing this lesson. Hmm. Ooh, this is suddenly, and this is, uh, this is a sudden, and towards this person, something is happening. This is suddenly moving very, very fast. This is a shocking entrance towards this nine of pentacles this very independent person somebody's and this is six this is six pentacles six pentacles here so we have we have a we have a, looks like news is coming news is coming somebody is going to be given i don't know if this is money or an inheritance or a gift or something like that or raise somebody is going to be given something that is going to help them financially and we got one person gonna be madder than hell hell okay he is not gonna be happy it don't matter what sign she is so we have one person gonna be very 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 upset that she was not chosen for the gift Hmm. Now, the Knight of Pentacles, I mean, why did I say the Knight of Pentacles? The Knight of Swords is, is somebody that has no fear. Moving very fast. Now, this is a shocking entrance or a shocking information, Some because this is information. Somebody is receiving some sort of information or news that is going to be a shock. Okay, this is a shock. This is a surprise. Surprise. Surprise ending. All of a sudden, all of a sudden, this is very sudden. All of a sudden, it's a, there's a surprise here. This is giving, somebody is maybe giving money or giving a gift or giving, be given a raise or something like that. It also feels like uh, this news that is coming out because it's some sort of news is being shared completes something because this is a major completion for this person of authority who has abused their power this person has abused their power mm -hmm. Woo! so we got the empress the empress gives birth to a new life she delivers she is beautiful she is kind she is generous uh This empress, this is a mother, somebody that is very graceful and abundant. We have a new beginning because endings lead to new beginnings. This is extreme abundance. Taking a, a new approach towards this empress. The Empress is a very self-sufficient woman. She has a lot of options. She delivers, she's creative, she's a creator. She creates life and she delivers. She delivers the truth. Somebody may be delivered, this Empress may be the one delivering the truth.
about this corrupt individual. And I don't know who this empress is. Def this is a feminine. This is a, usually a masculine, but whatever. The empress um, has plenty. She's very sensual. She's very sexual. She's very domestic. This interesting. So this is, uh, remember, leaving the past behind. And this is a new beginning towards, this is a new you, a new life. This is a new beginning here. This is a new beginning. Somebody is going to receive some sort of information about An ending that leads to a new beginning. This is this cycle is completing. Starting a new journey. This is traveling to a new destination. Starting a new journey, starting a new life. Abandoning the, the nasty individual that led them in the wrong direction and headed towards somebody that loves them. She is the queen of love and wealth. So this is moving very, very fast. This person has no fear whatsoever headed towards this individual that is solid and stable and secure and a hard worker could be a business owner moving very very fast has no fear whatsoever but this queen of swords is uh, very vindictive so this is a vindictive person who is uh, let's talk about her for a minute Let's talk about her. Not going to be happy at all. Woo! The tower. Oh, God. Her whole life about to fucking crumble. So that ain't good. Okay. So, yeah. We got this bitch that uh, is about to experience some major upheaval in her life because she is not a good person. Shit's about to get real. Yes, sir. You know, there even could be, it feels like there could be some sirens even. I'm not trying to scare anybody, but it feels like there could be some sirens. This could be the police. Um, it doesn't have to be. But this is a protector. We have a protector. This is major upheaval. A shocking fated event. We have a nasty individual who lies and doesn't tell the truth. And she is about to experience a major disruption. It's, all, it's like everything just comes crashing down. And it's crashing down publicly. It's public. This empress... This empress, whoever she is... She's about to start a new life. She's about to give birth to a new life. She's getting a blessing. She's been through a lot of pain. The Empress has a lot of life experience. She was dealing with an individual that didn't. Now she's turning her back on that individual. And starting a new life. 
or that somebody is turning their back on somebody else and starting a life with her. This is communication and information about an ending that leads to a new beginning for this beautiful individual who has probably been under somebody else's control. And maybe it was a father. I don't know. This person deserted them in the time of need. Whoever this person is that lies and doesn't tell the truth, this person's about to get a rude awakening. And I think it has to do with money. Good luck.